If you're mapping with the Hive Mapper and you have uh, issues with your camera losing the GPS signal, then you don't want to miss this video. Last week, a lot of Hive Mapper users started to have issues with uh, their GPS falling off all the time, so they lost a lot of footage, and that included me as well. From having a pretty good connection to the GPS satellite, I started to lose it a lot and my images were not captured at all the same as before. A lot of people started to write in this code and they believed that it was this or another update that was implemented at that time that was causing it. Then later on, John, he wrote something about that people who had increased GPS gaps, it could be that it was insufficient power supply, which a little bit strange for myself because I didn't do any changes at all in the car. I had another dash cam connected and a regular dash cam I used to charge my iPhone and I have a uh, Mapmetrix device as well that was connected and so on. So it was a little bit strange. I didn't do any changes, it just stopped working well. I disconnected everything and only had my Hive Mapper camera connected, but still the same issues. So I bought a uh, GPS signal amplifier and installed it and wow, that's a big difference. I just made a test drive this morning and the results are incredible if I can say so. Yesterday I went for a drive here, as you can see my signal wasn't too good. I could see the blue LED light falling out five times and uh, it was here, here and here, here. But as you can see, it was really, really bad all the time. Today I installed uh, the amplifier and I was driving more or less the same road opposite direction. I couldn't go exactly the same here because there was a uh, construction going on. So I had to go this way instead. What can I say? It's incredible. The LED didn't show that the GPS fell out a single time and as we can see here, it didn't fall out and it was working really good. Yesterday I got 676 photos, today the same route, more or less 2500, that is four times as many, but that's not so strange when we look at this one. We can also see yesterday, let's see if I can zoom here, it was recording that I was actually driving out in a rice field and it has been doing like that many times before too. So it was a huge improvement with this one. And the amplifier I bought, I bought an AliExpress, $12. It is just, uh, here is the GPS antenna. You mount it on the outside of your car and then you have the transmitter or what it could be called that you place inside the car and you connect it to a uh, USB outlet as well. And here are some photos from my highly temporary uh, installation because I just wanted to see if it was working. I just put this uh, transmitter on the seat, as you can see, inside the car. On top of the rails of my car, I just mounted it with zip ties, so it's facing upwards. And of course, it gets better signal when it's outside the car. And as we can see here, I'm parked in my carport now. I have all three LEDs uh, lit and I never had the GPS signal while parked in the carport. So this one is doing miracles, I would say. That was a pretty good easy fix. I believe that I will have a lot more photos uh, taken by the camera now in the correct places since it's not hopefully going to register that I'm on a rice field or uh, some other <laughs> places uh, driving. And if you're interested in uh, one of those amplifiers, there is a link in the video description below. So check it out. This one worked really well for me. If there was something else with the cameras or firmware or whatever they did, and it can be changed, I, I don't know. But right now I'm super happy that it's working well. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.